Lancaster, Texas, I think you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and proceed. Good morning, and welcome to Lancaster Today. I'm Amanda Skinner, the Executive Director of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Cheryl Adams, Lancaster Chamber Board Chair. We are here at the National League Civic National Civic League Convention, where this year's theme is Building Healthy Communities Through Civic Engagement. With us today is the Honorable Clyde Hurston, the mayor of... Lancaster, the shining star of Texas! Thank you, Mayor. Today we will hear from City Council members Strain Burke, Mejia, Morris, Jaglowski, and Mayor Pro Tem Hill. We're here, we'll also hear from LISD students. Board Trustee President Clark and Trustee Mays, and LISD Superintendent Granger, as well as business leaders and residents concerning combined efforts to transform the city of Lancaster into a healthy, safe, and engaged community. I heard at a health fair that Lancaster has high rates of pediatric asthma, low birth weight, and heart disease. Yes, I'm Dr. Green with the Best Southwest Partnership. Our health care committee identified these areas of disparity, and now the city of Lancaster is working with our committee leaders to address them. All right. All right. Lancaster passed a smoke-free ordinance, and we're only one of 104 cities in the state of Texas that has passed this ordinance indoors and in the workplace. Cedar Valley College noticed the large number of um, struggling mothers on our campus community and also in the wider community of Lancaster. So now we're partnered with the North Texas Food Bank and other community organizations to provide fresh produce, diapers, formula, and um, personal health supplies for our surrounding communities. We're all about healthy mothers, healthy babies, and stellar education. That's right. Yes, the city of Lancaster has started a healthy Expanding opportunities in the city of Lancaster with the Kaboom Bill. Yay! In 1994, the citizens of Lancaster volunteered to build a 2,500 square foot wood park we call Kids Square. Along with us here today, we have one of our council members that helped me and others with the bill. It was a great park. It was located right in between two elementary schools. The kids loved it, the parents loved it, but because it was made out of wood, it began to deteriorate, and there were safety issues. We had to shut it down. <laughs> but that's okay, because parents and children from Lancaster ISD came out to redesign a new playground, and over 200 volunteers came out to build a new playground. <laughs> The playground was built in one day with the volunteers, Kaboom, and all state insurance. Right. 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 A, new, a new playground was built in one day? I understand that over 1,200 elementary kids used this playground. Who all participated in this build? Police and fire! Cedar Valley College! Lancaster ISD! The City of Lancaster! And local pastors! The business community! Even had the Dallas Cowboys, Roy Williams and Priest Holmes come out to play with our students. Yeah. You, wow, you all are really working together to expand opportunities for play. Tell me more about this movement. Sure thing, the city of Lancaster participates in the It's Time Texas Community Challenge. This is an eight week competition that unifies and unites schools, businesses, organizations, community members, and elected officials towards the common goal of transforming their community's health. Communities earn points by organizing free, healthy activity, being active, and eating healthy. How do you earn those points? By taking selfies, selfies. Not like this. <laughs> by tracking our team's workouts and stuff. Planning healthy pep rallies, blood drives, and health fairs at our schools and more. And by working together, the city of Lancaster earned over one million points and we won first place. Yeah! Well, Cedar Valley College also won first place and we did it three years in a row. Yeah! 
and a big thank you to the city of Lancaster for donating $1,200 to the Lancaster Independent School District for our healthy after school programming. Health Challenge and our city uh, uh, wellness uh, um, employee program, I was able to lose 100 pounds this past year. Recently, my husband had a quadruple bypass surgery, and I was devastated at the thought of almost losing him. But I did not let that stop me. I continued working with others towards healthy living. Mm -hmm. I'm a charter member of the city's Health and Fitness Advisory co uh, Committee, yes. and I'm also the college nurse at Cedar Valley College, where we work together to enhance our wellness programs to include Tai Chi, health fairs, meditation, good information on uh, nutrition, mm -hmm. and free community health screenings. Mm -hmm. Even though the challenge is over, I'm going strong! Yeah! We're thankful that the trails along the beautiful community park were very accessible for our entire family. Four years after her car accident, which left my daughter paralyzed, she was able to compete in her first 5K. And, and we're, we're still, still going! going. Yeah! are a few of the amazing shiny star moments in the city of Lancaster. But let's remember that the city council recently passed legislation to tackle food deserts in the city. Now, variety stores have to carry at least 50% fresh produce. Now that's what I call healthy living. <laughs> y personal que venden fruta fresca, arte único y productos caseros. She said, let's not forget our Lancaster market that has bilingual vendors and staff that sell fresh fruits, unique art, and homemade goods. Oh. <laughs> and let's not forget Council's initiative to update the Bike and Hike Trails Master Plan, making all trails in our community in inclusive and available to all community members. Also, let's not forget about all the students graduating with their CPR certifications. Way to go! And don't forget about Cedar Valley's College's community outreach, no, <laughs> community resource and community health fairs. They offer information of, of local outreach services, health screenings, financial counseling, and sustainable community development. Students and families have access to fresh food and a fresh start. And we can't forget about our district's annual Special Olympics, and when student and community leaders come together to represent and recognize our students with special needs. Wow, folks, we are already out of time, but you heard it here first. Lancaster is a healthy, engaged, safe community. With every civic segment and age group involved in a great movement that's still going. All right. Thank you, Amanda and Cheryl. That is why Lancaster is the shining star of Texas.